Hey, my name is Kate Ferber. I am a singer, a songwriter, actor, and a playwright. And this is One Child Born. And when I die, and when I'm gone, there'll be one child born and a world to carry on. One Child Born is a one-woman cabaret, so it's just me, and it celebrates the music of Laura Nero. So I play the piano and I sing 10 Laura Nero songs, and in between I do these different characters, and each of them does a monologue about how they have somehow been changed by Laura Nero and her music, her legacy. He puts this record on, and I hear this voice soaring out of the record player. And I ask, who is this? And he says, Laura Nero. And I listened to New York Tenderberry. And at the end, I put the needle back at the beginning. This project started forming when I was a kid. And I uh, was so inspired by Laura Nero, listening to her from a really early age. And then I grew up and started writing songs. So when this idea came, uh, it was an amazing chance to, to, to start to perform her material, you know, the way I saw it. So the team for One Child Born is myself, a performer and co-writer. The other co-writer is Louis Greenstein and together we wrote the monologues and created the characters. And then we have our amazing director Adrian Campbell Holt who staged the show and designs the lighting at any venue we perform. So what we decided to do is talk about how I have been changed by Laura Nero, how these other characters have been changed by Laura Nero, and, and what we're trying to say is, you know, art can change your life. You know, you think Laura be a cat person. Wrong. <laughs> Dog person. She was a cat person who converted. <laughs> I stay with American cousin too. This one, love American singer Laura Nero. And I listen and listen to Laura Nero and poof, I am wonderful English. <laughs> Laura Nero is a key figure in American music. She's been the influence you know, of Joni Mitchell, Elton John, Ricky Lee Jones, all of these famous artists have cited her as an influence. So it's a puzzle to me how people in my generation have never even heard of her. You know, so why this is so relevant, so important right now is, is to keep that legacy alive, you know, to play the music for her fans and to introduce the music to a newer generation. Watch out, boy, when I 